today on Home and Family. It's how 20 seconds of stretching can lead to a lifetime of perfect posture. Did you say it also reverses wrinkles? is a leading expert in osteopathy and chiropractic health. Her improved posture techniques have helped celebrities and athletes walk taller and feel better. <laughs> and she's here to show us what we can be doing at home to stretch out for spring. Please welcome Dr. Liza Egboga. Uh, have you, have you ever been in a segment where you know, no, 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 that I, sit up is tall exactly. as well? It's very stressful. Yeah, right. I feel like we're being watched judged. right now, judged That's a little true. bit too. A little Thanks bit. for being here. This is so helpful for people to understand, including us. The thing is that our whole life, I feel like people can relate to the fact that we've been told to stand up straight. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that we could actually have bad posture and not even realize it, especially coming off of these cold winter months. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So when it gets colder, we instinctively want to keep ourselves warmer. So we hunch in. And we retain the body heat and we're all curled up and this is our way of keeping ourselves warmer mm. but this is creates bad posture got it and not only that we are inside more right so we're on our phones we're on our laptops we're hunched over our iPads and that again causes our shoulders to round forward it causes our neck to go forward and that unfortunately is poor posture and, it, and that's what poor posture is right? absolutely like you have shoulders forward neck forward that exactly so when everything is curling in versus being straight and, okay. and just that i mean think okay is that really a big deal yeah it's a huge deal because it can severely affect the functioning of your organs your internal organs wow. as well as your mental health your emotional health absolutely it's a big deal it's a huge deal so what happens is when you are closed in you have to think that under all of this you have organs so you have your lungs you have your heart now when there's less space for your lungs to open up and expand it means that you're more likely to have things like pneumonia when your heart is compressed it means that your blood pressure can go up and it doesn't have as much room to actually beat. When I looked at this last night, the terrible posture is the one that I thought was great. Stop. Yeah, no, so that's not the good one. <laughs> and that has wow. happened by you curling in. And look at that poor heart just squashed and squished without enough room to expand. And then as we look at the first one, we see that it's more open, it's straighter, the head is back, the chest is more open. So now the heart can actually be the way it's supposed to be. But I feel like the spine is more curled in the front one. That's what's so confusing to well, me. Well, the thing is, in your spine, you're actually supposed to have that normal curvature in okay. your in your neck as it goes forward your neck actually straightens so that's a bad thing okay. yes we're supposed to have a natural you know, c curve in the neck i mean this is this is an aspect of posture that i hadn't heard about all the organs yeah. and the breathing in the heart and everything else but on top of all that you say also bad posture or poor posture can affect anxiety or increase one's anxiety absolutely so we talked about the lungs being compressed now if the lungs don't have enough room to expand and you're not getting any enough oxygen Oxygen, that sends feedback back to the brain saying, I'm not getting enough air, and that can create anxiety. And then also changes the hormone. So when you're closed in, it actually raises your cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone. Oh my goodness. So you can feel more anxious, more depressed, versus when you're in good posture, it raises your endorphin levels, which are your feel good straight, hormones. Yeah, we gotta sit up straight. Yeah, and get those endorphins in, because those are your feel good Man. hormones. I mean, something <laughs> as simple as that, and it has such a huge effect on our health, and we don't we don't even realize it. I mean, absolutely. Um, you're gonna lead us through some exercises absolutely. that everyone at home can yes. join in on. 20 seconds of exercising. That's all you need. Exercising. Exactly. It's fun really. and it feels good and That'll it'll give you better posture. Exactly. Okay. Let's do it. I so. want to feel better. Me too. Yes. Have good posture. So the first one we're going to do is something called the baby bird. So this is perfect going into spring because it's going to help lift our face and help with neck pain and help with that forward head posture. Okay. Uh. So to do this, you're going to put your tongue at the roof of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Good. And now you're going to look up to the ceiling. And now you're going to swallow while you keep the tip of your tongue at the roof of your mouth. Oh, God. So this is actually quite difficult. I jump. But as you're doing that, you can feel that you're strengthening these deep neck muscles here. You're helping to define your jawline. And where, you're helping where are the muscles? Sorry, I missed it. So right over here, okay. you can feel those muscles activating. And then mm. as you're looking up, you're helping to reverse some of that forward head posture. Oh, it already feels better down my back. Exactly. Oh, so, did you say it also reverses wrinkles? Well, it helps to lift everything, right? Because <laughs> it contours the jawline. 
Did you hear that one, ladies? And it does reverse gravity, so that's oh, a great thing. Well. Okay, so okay. what's next? Next is my favorite one, and this is the pec stretch. So with this one, you're actually interlocking okay. your hands okay. behind your back. Okay. okay. Good. And now you're imagining that someone is pushing down. Mm -hmm. oh. Excellent. And with that, you can feel your chest opening. Oh, yeah. As you imagine that someone's pushing your hands down, you can feel that your shoulders are depressing. Because uh -huh. as we get stressed and as we get anxious, we tend to go up yes. like this. Mm -hmm. So this helps drop that up, unfold this, and you're actually strengthening, strengthening the stabilizer muscles in between your shoulder blades, mm -hmm. which means even when you stop doing the exercise, you'll still be in great posture. We should oh, finish the show good. like this. I know. <laughs> okay, just doing this all at once. I'm going to the, the baby bird and the peck stretch. Okay, and so now we have a back bend. So this one is great. Okay. All you're doing is you're putting your hands on the back of your hips. Okay. And then you are arching backwards. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. So, not falling over. Yes, this is a great decompression for your whole spine. It helps, again, to reverse that C, but also to stretch the hip flexors at the front. Okay. So when you spend too much time sitting, those muscles actually shorten. Yeah. That can cause your stomach to stick out more. That can lead to back pain. Wow. So you're helping to reverse that, and you're helping to straighten Ooh. up. So you just reverse that C by taking it well, backwards. Well, we sit a lot on this show, in case yeah. you didn't notice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> one that is, feels so good. Yes. Yeah. So these are heel raises. Yeah, there's one more. Okay. So My fault. now My fault. you're going to go on the tips of your toes. Okay. And then you're going to try and do it for a count of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? Oh, I see. I see. So you're just going on the one, top two, of your three, three up, up. One, and... two, down. Okay, oh, four, five. Exactly. Down. One, two, three. Yes. Four, five. Ooh. I do this in the line of the shopping center, but I do it to try and grow my calf muscles. That's, that's, I just want <laughs> so to it helps with your calf right. muscles, but it also <laughs> helps strengthen the muscles in your arch. That, it feels really yeah. good. Yeah, so this is the foot. base of our support. So by increasing and building up the strength in those muscles, you're actually lifting everything up from the ground up, which is the base oh, of your beautiful. posture. Okay, oh, I feel God. revived. <laughs> I feel like I've got great posture, but let's find out. This is Debbie and I before Ooh, Dr. Igbogo <laughs> was here. Let's take oh, a look. That's embarrassing. Well, we were on our phones. We that got caught. Matheson, Thank come you on. for doing that without us knowing, guys. And now, <laughs> let's take a look now. What do you think? Look, oh, let's wait. turn sideways. To the side? Boom. Oh, wow, I guys. A I plus. Blown yes. Two inches, everybody. Well, Absolutely. <laughs> Thank no, you so much. <laughs> Fantastic. Great stuff. You can find more about Dr. Liza and her improved posture techniques at drlizaegboga.com. I feel great. I know. Yeah, see? I know. Now you're up I'm going to do this. Feel better. Oh, this is my favorite. Endorphins being 